BPAWA meteorologist Bobby Martins here with your outlook for August 24th, 2022. It is Wednesday, middle of the work week, and we have a couple nice, really nice days coming up here as far as sky condition with mostly sunny skies expected both today and Thursday, return to mostly sunny skies. And uh, temperatures today are going to be in the 85 to 90 degree range, as you can see above me here in the video. And then we're going to take a step further on Thursday with a bump up by a couple degrees there. 87 to 92 is a spread from northwest to southeast across our region. So warmer than average, slightly warmer than average uh, for this time or this point in August. Okay, but we're not expecting any precipitation either in the next two days. This is a little bit of warming ahead of the next cold front. This is a rather weak cold front. Uh, moving toward the region you can barely see it here this is looking at friday morning it's kind of sitting back here a little weak front there uh, that's going to come through the region here on friday afternoon and evening the problem with this is uh, the best forcing with this is going to be across new england right up here this is where the best forcing is with this frontal boundary so uh, with the best forcing is where you're going to see the most activity for scattered showers and thunderstorms you can see across our area uh, there's really not a whole lot here not a whole lot at all. So in a local forecast, you'll see an isolated chance for a thunderstorm late in the day here on Friday. Here is the NAM, uh, long-range NAM. This is the 12-kilometer NAM since the 3-kilometer does not go past 60 hours. So this is looking at uh, Friday afternoon at 5 p.m., as you can see in the upper right-hand corner of the timestamp. And I move this forward, and it's just an isolated chance through the evening uh, here before it just uh, a passing shower or thunderstorm as it looks right now. So we're not really excited about uh, much activity here on Friday, and we haven't been. Uh, but uh, we will have to watch after this uh, cold front moves through, which it does on Friday night, uh, that there will be maybe a little piece of energy off to our south. Not much, but it's a little piece of energy that's sitting right here over the Carolinas, right there, uh, that could spawn a few showers near the Delmarva region here on Saturday or Saturday night. So we have to keep an eye on that. The European model has been rather uh, consistent in showing that. But I do want to say about this, uh, you see our local forecast that doesn't have mentions in the Pennsylvania locations or northern New Jersey, or which we do our lo local forecast for, for any precipitation, even though the European model has some there on Saturday evening. Uh, reason for that is there is a high pressure building in at the same time off the north. And this is a rather weak low to begin with. It's like right here, very weak low. All right. So this high, as long as it's strong enough and in this position, should keep precipitation maybe to the far southern Delmarva, and that's it. So we're not gonna th we're not thinking that any precipitation gets into any shower activity or thunderstorms gets into uh, the it gets into as far as north as the European model shows here. okay So I think it's a little bit too far on what it shows. and then it shows some more activity here on Sunday yet lingering. Maybe an isolated shower or something like that, but that's it, okay? Uh, temperatures this weekend are going to take a slight step back. We're going to be warm through Friday, very similar day, with high temperatures 87 to 92 on Friday. And then this weekend, it looks like we're kind of like mid to upper 80s for highs, uh, both Saturday and Sunday. Uh, and uh, temperatures uh, will be increasing again once we get into early next week as ridging builds in temporarily ahead of the next trough. Uh, so Monday, Tuesday are very similar days, 87 and 92 again. Uh, so those are both above average days relative to time of year. For this point of August, it should not be that quite that warm. Still warm, but not quite that warm. All right, we're not. Uh, we're starting to head in, getting to get ready to head into September here, where temperatures start uh, coming down a lot quicker as far as averages go. Uh, but uh, we're not quite there yet. But we still have a very warm end to the month of August. It looks like, and then on Tuesday we have uh, a partly cloudy start and then some scattered. PM showers and thunderstorms. This is going to be along the first of two frontal boundaries. There's a primary boundary right here, and there's a secondary back here in the lead of a trough. There's much cooler air on the opposite side of that trough. So this first one's going to come through Tuesday. Tuesday is the 30th. Uh, the 31st is when the second one comes through. All right, that's next Wednesday. Uh, once that comes through, it will lower the temperatures behind it beginning Thursday of next week, it looks like, and temperatures will be back in on the lower 80s again. So it'll be a little bit more refreshing once you get to the end of the week. We'll continue to watch the weekend and the evolution of this stuff early next week in the coming days here. But it uh, looks like right now uh, the best chance is in that Tuesday, Wednesday time frame for some scattered showers and thunderstorms with the next trough. If you're here for the forecast and you don't want to stick around, the normal seven-day forecast that I do, uh, that's fine. You can jump off. But I do want to address something that's been uh, been asked of me a lot lately. What's going on with hurricane season? Where is it? Why have we not had hurricanes? We're now in the peak of hurricane season. Uh, climatological peak runs from about mid-August through the end of September. Now, we're at the August 24th, and we're still in the beginning of the alphabet as far as named storms. And the named storms thus far have not been really that impressive. 
Okay, so the Atlantic hurricane season is has not really taken off just yet. Okay, so here's what we're looking at. If I want to, I want to pull up an image here that's going to show you the typical tracks in September, because the rest of the uh, month of October is shot as far as any hurricane development. But there is opportunities. I think they're going to pop up in September. It's just going to be where. All right. Uh, the main developer, uh, Atlantic Hurricane Main Development Region, or the MDR, you'll hear people talk about that a lot, is right here uh, between the Eastern Caribbean Islands and, and the West Coast of Africa. Okay, This is where you expect some waves that come out uh, off the western coast of Africa and move their way westward across the Atlantic. These are the kind that you can see coming for 8, 10 days, or if not longer, and they're long track all the way across the Atlantic. So that's a long way, right? So... That's where we're looking for the best area of development right now. And you see the main arrow going right here, and then it kind of goes different ways. Uh, and also an area that would be conducive for development is out here in the southwestern Atlantic, out in this area. So I think for the for, for the uh, near term, I think we're going to, if we have any development, the main development area for right now, I think, is going to be out here just because it's a much more favorable environment. And uh, that's why we have not had so far... Uh, development in that region. If I go to a different map here, which is the GFS, uh, this is the GFS projection for the end of August. Nothing here on the map at all. Here is these waves coming off of Africa, moving westward. Uh, but there's been a couple problems here. One, we've been dealing with a lot of Saharan dust, which is the dust off the very uh, the desert areas here that blows off uh, with the trade winds. It blows all the way over to across the uh, Atlantic, the southern Atlantic here, or middle Atlantic, whatever you want to call it, all the way over to the uh, Caribbean islands, and you get some a lot of dust, some haze, and things like that from that dust. That is an inhibitor of tropical development. So we've had a lot of that early on. Uh, we've also had a uh, you have a strong ridge that's sitting out here, right? But you also had these upper level lows that would originate near the Azores by Portugal or just west of Portugal, and it would retrograde southwestward and set up shop right in the middle of the MDR down here, right? So what that does it brings a lot of wind shear uh, and things that are not conducive for hurricane development either so we've had some things that have been hindering development so far once we get to september this might change it's going to depend on whether these upper level lows stop kicking southwestward uh and if this dust situation gets a little bit better it has started to get a little bit better and and uh, uh we're just not there yet but there are some signs here from the gfs that keeps trying to show something developing here near the caribbean here as we get to the very tail end of uh, of uh august heading into september some waves coming off of Africa here, but this been it's been playing these games now for about a week, showing these different scenarios. Uh, it actually takes this one here and develops it pretty nicely near Florida as we get into early September, and you get these waves that are rather weak coming in here, trying to undercut that uh, little trough that's out there. Uh, but they're, and they're there, but you know we're we're just gonna have to see how this plays out. This goes to max range. This is after Labor Day weekend, uh, well after Labor Day weekend. This is August, they're going all the way out to September eighth now. And there's still not a tremendous amount of activity, but it's only going to take one, okay? And we might see an uptick in September. It might be a late year, a late blooming year. That's possible, too. Uh, or it might be very little, like it is now. There's really no way to tell. So when I can see, see all these uh, advanced hurricane forecasts that are put out by experts in the field, okay? Um, and they're calling for all these crazy amounts of, of named storms. It's To me, it's kind of like seasonal forecasting with winter spring summer fall i don't do that either because i think it's a waste of time these guys think they you know they're you know every once in a while they get a have a good uh, idea what's going on i think this year so far uh they've uh, they've overestimated what has been going on thus far but it doesn't mean it can't turn around in a hurry and we'll start watching the tropics a little with a little bit or more earnest once we get into the month of september i'm epa debris meteorologist bobby marcher that is your outlook for august 24th 2022 have a great wednesday